Former Baylor official is now going public with her concerns about what she believes is the continuing mismanagement of sexual assault allegations at the university. This comes months after an independent investigation into the sexual assault claims found there were 17 women who had reported sexual or domestic assaults involving 19 Baylor University athletes since 2011. Those included four reports of gang rapes. Coach Art Briles was fired earlier this year along with the athletic director. President Ken Starr was removed from his post by Regents and he later resigned as Chancellor. Fox 4's Lori Brown here with more on tonight's story. Lori. Steve, the former Baylor official who is speaking out is Patty Crawford. She says after revelations that Baylor's head coach failed to deal with sexual assault allegations, the culture at the school did not change. My kids, I think, expect their mother to do the right thing. And that's what I've done. Patty Crawford was Baylor University's Title IX coordinator. It was her job to make sure the university complied with a federal law that prohibits sex discrimination. And we never gave the authority to do these things. And she put her job on the line by filing a complaint that, against her own employer with the Department of Education. She says her supervisors were not pleased, so she resigned. If I expect students to report to me horrible incidents that they've experienced, difficult narratives to share, I have to have the courage to report publicly what Baylor is doing to me. Crawford says even as recently as September, the culture of Baylor had not changed. The university did not want these sexual assaults to become public knowledge. They did not want to have to acknowledge that students were having sex, that they were drinking, and that non-consensual abuse was happening because it didn't fit the brand image or the Christian philosophy or model that they had always stood behind. Crawford says the report revealing 19 athletes were involved in assaulting 17 women was only the tip of the iceberg. I was there 23 months. I had um, uh, over 400 reports of sexual violence. The culture was that we victim blame. This doesn't happen here. These are Christian students. And anyone that's having sex outside of marriage that violates our conduct code. She says she tried to tell her that boss that, that they weren't complying the with Title IX. And he responded to me very negatively uh, in person, told me never to file anything in writing to him again, to only go to his office. Among Crawford's complaints, not being able to get police reports on closed cases. When we don't have police reports or access to these things, we can't have integrity with our investigations. Baylor has created a website to deal with the fallout of the scandal. On it, the university says Crawford lacked the skills to manage the office and had a high rate of turnover. They need to turn over all documents related Crawford's to the attorney says report, Baylor needs to come clean and turn over all the documents related to the sex scandal. And stop attacking and blaming the messenger. Baylor's interim president said in an online statement that Baylor did not respond as a caring Christian community to those who were hurt grieves all of us. He apologized and said that he will do what he can to ensure it never happens again. Steve. Okay, Laurie Brown, thanks.